Good afternoon. The question of today is from Susan. And Susan wrote to me and she said, my little dog Daisy is 25 uh, LBS. So that's about 11 kilos, I would say. Hold on, because now the text has disappeared. Um, nearly 13 years old and a mix of miniature Dachshund and Beagle. She has developed arthritis in her lower back and the vet suspects she is as, as, associating pain with going poo outside. She often now doesn't let me know she has to go outside and poos in the house. I'm trying to follow po the points shown in your literature, but not comfortable that I'm always finding the right spots. Looking forward to this week's challenge. Let me get back to you. Okay, here I am again. Um, now, Susan, this is something uh, with which I have a lot of experience in that way that I've had already several uh, rescue animals here who had low back issues. And it is not that the dog doesn't always let you know or not that it has to go outside. It could also just be that one or the other nerve is not giving the signals anymore the way they used to be. So if your dog is having thoracolumbar disc disease, if there is a disc problem that is giving issues, and let's be honest, with Dax Hunt, they have such a large back, they are prone to have thoracic uh, um, thoracolumbar disc disease. They are also prone to then at a certain moment, depending on how active they are, uh, to have even um, yeah, signs that they are losing uh, the feeling in their legs. And it all comes from their back. So, in this case, your dog, you say that he has arthritis, 13 years old. Yeah, okay, developed arthritis in the lower back. What points are you doing for your dog? I don't know that. In this case, for your dog, if it was be my dog, uh, I would do the point for arthritis on the bladder meridian eh, in your booklet. Uh, you could do the lower back points, but I think that in the case of your dog, you don't do the points for lower back. You should be doing the points for thoracolumbar disc disease. Okay, it's another booklet. Some points will be the same for sure, but that's what you need to do. All these points you're going to do every two days for the next six weeks on mode one. It was just going to take you three to four minutes a day, uh, every two days. That's nothing. But apart from that, if you're suspecting your dog having pain there, you also need to use my torch on mode two and torch there. Let's say for the next three to four days, torch the zone where you suspect the pain is Mm, three times a day, in the morning, early afternoon, and before she goes to bed. That torching locally will also relieve the pain. And in combination with torching those specific points for thoracolumbar disc disease, which is going also to touch the nerves where you are, you will also do that in mode two, of course, but the combination of the two can restore nerve function there too. So it's really important. Okay. But I've had that with every dog who had been operated uh, on the spine on, on one or the other disc at a certain moment, they would poop without knowing it. They would sleep through it because the nerve is not working anymore like it used to be. And they would just be sleeping and they would get, without them waking up, just while they were sleeping, uh, the muscle of the anus is working and it's coming out and they don't even know about it. So it's not that uh, she doesn't want to let you know. More than probably, she doesn't know it's coming. 
because she, the signal is gone between the location of the nerve that has to give the signal to the brain to say, hey, I have to go out. So, and then it just happens. Certainly, don't be angry with your dog for that. I'm sure you wouldn't. But for everybody who is listening to this, if your dog is having an accident in the house, be it a wee-wee, a pee-pee, or a poo-poo, please don't get angry with your dog. Your dog is trying to let you know that something is going on. There is a problem here. Okay? And you need to be there for your animal. Don't be angry when you have a dog of a certain age who suddenly has accidents in the house. It could be an issue with the back. On the other hand, it could also just be uh, some trauma, something that happened while you weren't there, if you didn't know it, and that suddenly they have a trauma and they are peeing. But I mean, the dog is trying to tell you that something is going on. The dog is not trying to, to uh, how do you say that? Uh, oh, you know what? I'm going to pee and I'm going to poo in the house and I'm going to be doing that to be a naughty little boy. Animals don't work like that. So please, don't humanize your pets. Your child maybe do that. Eh? I'm, I'm going to poo here instead of on the toilet, whatever. Well, if it's a small child. <laughs> but I mean, an animal, a pet, a dog does not function in the same way. He's not going to do that to make you angry. It's a sign that something is going on and you should be there for your animal. And certainly don't, don't get angry with them, but try to find out what is going on. Just like in this case with Susan's, this dog is having an issue with the lower back. This dog is having an issue more than certainly either has a disc disease or has a nerve problem in the lower back. And the brain is not getting the sign anymore that the dog should be going out. Uh, what I do with my animals uh, that have these problems is I just go out a little bit more often. Meaning I will go out um, at night, I will stay out until something has been done. They, my dogs or my rescues here, they know the words. I mean, they can within five seconds do what I say I want them to do. So I mean, we go out and I say pee pee. Do pee pee and they will do a pee pee. Okay, and, 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 and the same with the poo poos. You can, you can just stay outside or walk, not far, slowly, steadily, and slowly, and walk until you can find a rhythm to, for them to do their poo poo. One of the ways that I am able to do that is the afternoon meal or the evening meal from the dogs. I have brought that forwards. Okay, so the dogs here would eat normally, let's say, at 7 in the morning, and they used to eat at 6 in the afternoon, but that makes, if, if they eat in, at 6 in the afternoon, it makes that they would have a poo-poo. If they have that disease, if they have that problem, they would do a poo-poo while they were asleep. Just by bringing the meals a little bit uh, earlier and giving the afternoon meal between 3 and 4, they still get a little snack, healthy snack at night when they go to bed. But giving the, the afternoon meal a little bit earlier between 3 and 4 makes that when we go to bed at 11, for example, we still go out for a walk at 11 and they will automatically already do a poo-poo. Okay, so that's a little thing that, that could help. Okay, wow, I have been talking for 9 minutes, over 9 minutes about a poo-poo. Um, just remember, your pet has no intention in their heart to do something bad. They don't see it like that. And in, in a case like this, they probably don't even know they're doing a poo-poo. So please don't get angry with them. Okay, they will more than probably be sad themselves that they've done it. I've had dogs like that, 
who would look like me. Oh my God, I've done something I shouldn't have done. But it wasn't their fault. Okay? When you get older, uh, dogs, when you get... Uh, yeah, I mean, if they're 30 and like mine of 30 and 14 years old, I mean, come on, they're over 80. If I was over 80, I would probably be running around with a, how do you call these little special pants that they put on babies and, and, uh, very old people. I would probably be running around like that. Okay. <laughs> See you later. Oh, and don't forget. The challenge is starting today. We are starting. Let me have a look. We are starting in five hours. Make sure the link is somewhere down here, a little bit lower, or you, maybe you got it by email. Make sure if you want to join us, this is the first time I'm doing this. If I were you, if you want to learn more, if you want to know more, join us now. Okay? Bye-bye. Yes, it's for free. <laughs>